but we did have some layoffs uh, and kind of restructuring within the hospital. Um, also, there's a lot of nurses that mainly, um, especially because they don't have as much money, their husbands aren't working or their wives aren't working, uh, they need to pick up money and so they're not taking what we call voluntary loan needs, which is where they say, sure, I'll take the night off because you don't need me. So they're getting mandatories, which is where they're forced to stay home. Um, another thing, too, is that what the hospital has done to try to save the money um, is they've tried to cut our use of, like, one-to-ones, which is where you have, uh, like, a nursing assistant sit in the same room as the patient. And those are for patients who are unsafe to be by themselves, whether it be because they're suicidal or because um, it's somebody who's not um, mentally you know, with it at the time and so they're trying to pull out their IV and they're trying to pull out their, their tubes or their, um, so they need somebody there to make sure that they're not pulling at things um, or to keep them safe. Um, so that's what one ones are and that, right now there's a big push to try to stop your use of those um, and to try to reduce your use, I should say, of those. And then also um, reduction in just the use of staff. You know, the safe ratio would be like four patients per nurse, but they try to staff us with, you know, five to six. And that just leads to errors. Mm -hmm.